I recently watched a video by the Young Turks here on YouTube. Apparently, religious testing for army or military personnel, at least. I don't remember which exact branch it is, but I'm not going to go into the the details of this specific, it just I believe they did, one of the hosts mentioned that in the military there is a chain of command, you can't disobey something that, you know, if if a friend of yours says you have to do this, then you can just say no, I'm not going to. But if your commanding officer tells you you have to take a religion test, it doesn't matter how ridiculous that order is, because it's not a suggestion, it is an order, and you could be facing a lot of trouble if you don't follow it. And my point here really isn't so much about this specific, I mean it applies to this specific case, but just in general, I'm not going to claim that we could properly democratize all military. There will be situations where it is necessary for people to just follow what they are being told as far as the military goes. It just, there won't always be time for a debate or for everyone's voice to be heard. You might be making really, really quick decisions and I do want to express gratitude for the fairly recent growing focus on the individual's you know, ability to make decisions because, you know, you go back far enough in history, then no soldier was allowed to make pretty much any decision. I mean, it was basically, well, there'll probably always be some commanding officer close enough by, you know, and yeah, that might be a subject for another video. But anyway, when you have an institution that relies so much upon the authority of relatively few people compared to how many these decisions impact, you have an enormous responsibility. Everything you decree, any order you put forth, is going to affect a lot of lives. And, I mean, in the case of this religious test, that's just, that's cheap. It's a, you know, it's, it's a way of getting religion into a place it really doesn't need to be. Unless, you know, the military, the US military wants to come forth and say, well, this is, we are fighting a religion here and we're fighting because of a religion. But, again, this, this is a fairly minor case of this, what I would call it, an abuse of authority, but there are far grander ones and any time there is such an authority-based system, we really have to keep a close check on the people making these orders. Because it could really lead to horrible, horrible things. Yeah, I suppose that's about it for this one.